Yes, we are live. Hey, cruisers, welcome to our Tuesday night live stream. It is our honor and privilege to be here tonight answering cruise questions for all of you. It is what gives us energy, it is what makes us tick. We love it, so be patient with us tonight as the chat tends to move very, very quickly. If we don't get to your question, hold out for a few minutes, wait till things calm down a little bit, and retype your question. Tonight's episode is sponsored in part by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers, just like us, just like you guys. We're really, really excited to be here. Everybody was warming it up in the pre-chat tonight. We had a lot of questions coming in already, so be sure to hold on to those questions and start typing them right about now. Again, though, you can space them out a little bit so that we can answer all of the questions. So if you're new to our channel, I'm Sherry, it's a pleasure to meet you. We have over 500 videos here on YouTube and we've been on about 32 cruises as a family. Some before child, some with child. And we love to create content all about cruising here on Cruise Tips TV. We have a second channel called Cruise Gear where we talk all about stuff for cruises like luggage and toiletries and beauty products and all the things that you might need for a cruise. So this is our passion, this is what we love to do, and we are absolutely and totally here to help all of you. So we're gonna get into some questions tonight. I wanted to start tonight's Q&A session off with a really funny request that I got on Facebook. As some of you may know, I was on Matt at Royal Caribbean Blog's podcast last Wednesday, and Matt interviewed me. We talked about dollar store shopping for a cruise. I'm gonna pop a link to that podcast really quickly in the live chat right now because it was so much fun. Whenever Matt and I get together, we always have a blast, but there's the podcast. But one of the funny things that we talked about on that episode was shower caps. And the reason we talked about shower caps is because the disposable shower caps, like the really thin plastic kind that you can buy at the dollar store are really great to use as shoe covers when you're packing. So they're really inexpensive, they're very thin, and they're very sheer plastic, like thinner than a Ziploc bag. Think of like a, you know, one of those like eco-friendly um, uh, vegetable bags that you get at the store now, and they just have a little elastic around them. So someone on Facebook said, please tell me how you do this shower cap shoe thing. So I'm here to tell you, my friend on Facebook who asked, and I'm so sorry I didn't get your name, all you do is you take the little disposable shower cap, you open it up, you stuff your shoe in there, and now your shoes aren't gonna get all your clothes in your suitcase dirty. So you're welcome, that's how it's done. And I have a, a link to that fun little podcast in there. So, <laughs> yep, Matt is in the house. Hi, Matt, Matt is here from Royal Caribbean Blog. We always love it when our fellow creators and podcasters and bloggers stop by. Matt, if those, if those of you who don't know him, which I'm sure that you know him if you're not living under a Royal Caribbean rock somewhere, um, Matt has an awesome website for Royal Caribbean cruisers. And there's something to be said for focusing on one cruise line because when you focus on one cruise line, you can really, really go deep with a topic. So you gotta make sure that you're following Matt's website, his forums, his podcast, all the things. So good for Royal Caribbean. So, Yes, Shailene and Kurt, just be bald. No shower cap needed, I know. My husband is like one of those really low maintenance hair people too. Not bald necessarily, like your self-inflicted bald, Kurt, but he does his own hair with a, with a, you know, a little, what do you call that, a trimmer? Trimmer? And he, you know, he doesn't have to worry about it. So I think that's, that's a good life. I'm so jealous, man. I have to curl this mess all the time. That's no fun. So let's answer some questions, y'all. Let's see what we've got in the house. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, are you working on that for me right now? If you'd like, I can just take some from the bottom here. Nope, okay, good. Okay, Linda Curran, we got you. Linda's question is, what should I know? I'm somewhat disabled, got a scooter. Linda, what you should know is you're gonna have an awesome time on a cruise. I don't know what cruise line you're going on, but I would recommend maybe considering Princess or Holland America as cruise lines. Um, they're very accessible friendly. You're gonna do great with a scooter. A lot of people cruise with scooters. And I gotta tell you, I've seen it a lot on Princess and Holland America. So maybe check out those lines. They'll be really comfortable. All right, John B is coming in with the Mr. Cruise Tips TV question already. He said, I'm thinking about getting the GoPro Fusion now that they're on sale. What do you think? I'm gonna answer that for Mr. Cruise Tips TV and say, we think you should go for it, right? Don't you love the Fusion? I do love the Fusion, but I'm gonna say to not go for it. Oh, she shoots. 
she it, misses. Yeah, here's the problem. Unless, <laughs> okay. unless you've had your eye on it for a while and you really know what you're getting into, there are two reasons I say to not okay. get it now. Number one, I think they're going to they're going to be coming out with something new, probably relatively soon. Um, my problem with the GoPro Fusion is that it's very difficult to work with the footage after the fact. Now, what you end up getting is very, very good. Now, you compare that to the Insta360 one, and it's just night and day. The Insta360 one is so much easier to work with that I almost always find myself reaching for that instead of the Fusion. Now, the 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 exception to that is if I were to be, in, uh, be doing some water excursion, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I would hold off unless you, okay. like I said, you really know what you're getting into and you've been holding off on that. I was wrong, John. So I was going to ask you what the alternative was, but you already told them it's the Insta360 One, O-N-E-1. -E That's a great camera. Um, well, there you go. That, the expert has spoken. CLX said, have you booked your Royal Caribbean cruise yet? No, I haven't. But I, I do feel like I feel like this whole planning a cruise thing is taking too long. So I think what I need to tell you guys at this point is even though we don't have a cruise booked, we are trying very hard to go on a cruise in September, which is next month. So there's a lot of things going on right now with us. We're trying to make a decision, but we've got some factors that have to line up um, with my, my day job that haven't lined up yet. And I'm waiting to see how flexible my schedule is going to be. And if we can squeeze one in, we're going to squeeze one in. So we'll keep you posted. But September, I, oh, please, we've got to go on a cruise. Pretty likely that it could be Royal Caribbean. Also possible that it could be Princess. All right. Barbara Hampton said, how easy is it to get around St. Martin and St. Kitts in a wheelchair? Barbara, my understanding with St. Martin is, I know St. Martin is pretty accessible. It's pretty flat, very port friendly. But I'm going to call on our wonderful community here to maybe help me out about St. Kitts. Uh, Marin's Ige said, what are some good and cheap things to buy for a road trip on the way to a cruise? Ooh, I love it. It's a challenge. Some good and cheap things to buy on, for a road trip on the way to a cruise. Well, it just depends on what you're talking about. If you're talking about snacks or what it is that you're talking about. I would say a nice car bag for practical purposes consists of, this is really practical stuff, a roll of paper towels, some hand sanitizing wipes, a couple changes of clothes, a really good little snack pack, maybe even a little ice chest full of some snacks for yourself, um, lots of small bills, lots of patience, your best sunglasses, and you know, I guess for those like overnights in a hotel, maybe some good card games or something like that. So let's weigh in and see what uh, we can tell Marin here. Okay, Matt, thank you very much for the super chat. <laughs> Matt, are you trying to say that, that I'm old? I'm joking. That was just me being feisty. You know, it's not true. Sheldon Griffith, thank you so much for the super chat. Sheldon, you have graduated to the advanced world of YouTube. I am very impressed. We were first, we were figuring out live chat and you're already graduated to super chat. Thank you, my friend. We really appreciate it. And yes, Matt, I appreciate it. You're so cute. Um, okay, Sarah O'Reilly said, any tips for fjord viewing when staying in an inside cabin, planning Norway, Ireland, and Iceland for next June? Okay, Sarah, so here's what I want you to do. When you book your cabin, I, we've done this too for Alaska. We've booked inside cabins because it literally, Sarah, saved us $2,000. Who's not going to do that? We are the kind of family who wants to cruise as many times as we can, so we're going to choose to save money. So what I want you to do is really look at those deck plans and try to get your cabin relatively close to an exit door that'll take you out to an open deck. This is a question that you might wanna go post on one of the cruise message boards, depending on what cruise line you're choosing. You might wanna say, okay, I've chosen to cruise on Royal Princess. Um, does anybody know where the, the best cabins are where I can get to the outside very quickly? Oftentimes, there are exits to the aft pools on some of the ships, so it depends on what you're cruising on, but my suggestion would be get near an exit, you should be fine. Janie Van Hooser says, hi Sherry, thinking about branching out on my first solo cruise. Will a good travel guide direct me through New York, through New England? You're scared, but gutsy, any worries? Um, I don't think you should have any worries, Janie. I think that solo cruising is a wonderful solo vacation. And you can keep that solo cruise a solo experience, or you can keep it, you can make it a more friendly communal experience if you want to. So I want you to go for it 
and I want you to let me know which ship you book on. Send me a direct message on Facebook and let's chat. I would love to. Ooh, okay. So Nurse Nancy said, what excursion should we plan for La Romana, Dominican Republic? Okay, let's help Nancy, guys, to, to do some excursion hunting for La Romana. So I've never been there, Nancy. I'm going to need to call on the help of our people here. Um, but I think one thing I would say is be cautious with the Dominican Republic right now because we know that there have been some... There's some controversial ha things happening right now. You might want to consider booking something with the cruise line. Oh my gosh, I just read the rest of your comment, Nancy. We're a bit concerned about safety. Nancy, book something with the cruise line for, D for the DR for now. Susie Brown said, going on Alaska cruise, what's a good place to eat in Juneau? Tracy's Crab Shack. Susie, go for it. Do the Crab Shack. Rita Lockett said, how much medical travel insurance do you suggest buying? Brandy, it depends on your situation. Usually we buy the higher plan. So usually there's kind of a good, better, and best type plan. We usually go for something a little more premium, especially if the trip is really expensive, but that's your decision. Talk to your travel agent. They can advise you. If you need a travel agent, direct message me on Facebook and I'll hook you up. Brandy Clark said, hi, am I allowed to bring a flat iron or curling iron with me traveling on Princess? Brandy? Hallelujah, girlfriend. The answer is yes, and thank heavens, because if it was a no, I would not cruise, because mama needs to curl these locks. This is not how I wake up in the morning. So yeah, you can, no problem. I know that we all freak you out about heat elements. Don't worry, you can take it with you. All right, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, I'm ready for some more. Bring it on. Busy chat tonight, eh? You got it. Okay, sounds good. I'll work on it right now. Okay, I'll work from the bottom. Yeah, I get to do that. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's get some questions here. All right, Jennifer Lamp says, what is fun to do in Nassau? Jennifer, there is so much fun stuff to do in Nassau. You could go to Atlantis for the day and get a pass to a water park. I was just watching Sharon at Sea on YouTube. I don't know if Sharon and Jamie and Matthew were in the chat tonight, but they just did a really great video on things to do in Nassau that are safe. So go to Sharon at Sea and watch Sharon's most recent video. One of the things Sharon recommended is getting a hotel room at the, I think it was the Comfort Suites, I think it was the name of the hotel, adjacent to Atlantis and you get free water park passes. So that's a fun hack for you if you want to do that. All right, Popular Kim said, what should we do on a sea day on Norwegian Pearl? So Popular Kim, expect the pools and things to be crowded. What I would do is try to, you know, think about things that other people maybe aren't doing. And if you're on a sea day, they're gonna be in those public areas. If you wanna hit something popular, make sure you do it in the morning, like water slides, any kinds of special things that might be crowded on a sea day, hit them in the morning. I would say relax, enjoy your cabin, sit on the balcony, order room service. For sea days for us, we like to just really relax and kind of do nothing. I think that's, you know, well, I don't know. I, I can't say we really do nothing, but we do more of nothing than we normally do on a port day, on a sea day. So take advantage of it, Popular Kim, and just relax. Um, Lawrence, I haven't heard of what's going on with Liberty of the Seas. I did hear about a delay coming back into Galveston, but I don't have an update for you on that, my friend. I'm so sorry. I had a busy day at work and I wasn't following the news. Meredith Doyle said, going on a cruise with a friend, but you may not want to go on the same excursion together. Is it safe to go on an excursion by yourself? Yeah, Meredith, I think in most ports, it's absolutely safe. Use your best judgment. If you're in doubt, just book something with the cruise line and you will be 100% safe. Try not to worry about it. That's the one thing that I think that's the message I, I really want to get across to solo cruisers or people who want to venture out. Cruising is such a wonderful, safe way to travel. You know, we, we hear sensational things in the media all the time about dangerous things that can happen, but incident for incident, statistically speaking, I think you're safer on a cruise than a lot of different types of travel. Okay. Peggy said, is there such a thing as a portable charger for phones and iPads? I am not sure what they are called. Any suggestions, Peggy? Absolutely, my dear. And those are called, they're just portable chargers and I would be happy to link you some. Um, portable device chargers look like little teeny tiny battery packs and they just have little USB plugs in them that you can plug your device into. So Peggy, if you are familiar with our Facebook page, send me a direct message over there and I'd be glad to get you a link, okay? Leah Piercy said, I'm going on a cruise February 2020. Sister who's in active duty in military um, are going as well. How do you handle, I can't see the bottom of that, sweetheart. Can you move Leah's comment up for me? Peggy's, you can move out and then move Leah's up. 
How do you handle the anticipation and excitement when it's still six months away? All right, Leah. Mr. Cruz's TV, is your microphone on? Do you know what he just did? He just pulled up to his microphone and he went like this. Shop, 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 shop. This is my drink, this is not my front. All right, so Leah, are you, are you familiar with the Enneagram? I am an Enneagram 2. I am the, um, what, well, I don't even know what the Enneagram 2 is, it's the helper. That means I get like really anticipatory, Leah, really excited about things and I'm, I can't handle the anticipation. So I try to channel that anticipation by planning, shopping, putting a lot of energy into um, putting together a nice binder for the cruise, but trying not to over plan and just getting excited. But I am with you. The anticipation is real. And for some of us, it makes us a little bit anxious. I get, I get a little bit anxious before a cruise, like anxious, excited, but you know, I would say plan, participate in message boards, different message boards. Look at photos, look at menus, get involved. It's, it's really a good time to get your packing in order too. I mean, if you feel excited about it, then put together a practice bag and see what things are gonna make the cut or not make the cut and yeah. do it over again. Yeah, I agree. Very good tip, my dear. Cheryl Steers says, going on Carnival Conquest in November. Anything cool to know? Mm, Cheryl, I haven't been on Carnival Conquest, but Carnival is so much fun. Let's see if our community can help you out. Guys, tips for Cheryl, Carnival Conquest. Go for it. Um, Cindy Kelly Juno has Tracy's Crab Shack. It's pricey, but it's worth it. Kathy Klausner said, what are some fun activities to do on the ship during a transatlantic crossing on Regal Princess? Ooh, you lucky dog. Well, Lucky for you, Regal Princess is a beautiful, new, well-outfitted ship. And on Regal Princess, lucky you, you are going to be blessed with medallion net technology. So you're probably going to have a really good internet connection. You're going to have all of those different wonderful features that make medallion class cruising so, so cool. So I would say really maximize your daily planner. Take a look at the newsletter. Take a highlighter pen with you. Highlight the things you want to do and just be indulgent. Do those things that you wouldn't normally do at home. Attend a lecture, sleep in, sit on your balcony and do nothing, order room service, and you know, get involved as much as you want. Sarah Schroeder said, have you been on Norwegian Joy? If so, did you like it? Sarah, I have not been on Norwegian Joy, but I have been on Norwegian Bliss, and she was uh, just a beautiful ship. Um, the hardware on that ship is just exceptional. It's a big ship, but it doesn't feel that big. Joy is a similar ship in many ways. I think you're gonna love it. Um, just, I can't say enough about how unique and um, innovative those ships are with the go-karts, the restaurants, all the specialty dining, you're gonna love it. All right, Scott says, what would you recommend for solo cruisers? Hey, Scott, Scott is our, guys, he's our, um, you all know Scott, but he is our Facebook group owner for Carnival Panorama's first two inaugural voyages. So Scott, I would say for solo cruisers, choose the right ship for you. Really think about, any advice I would give to a solo cruiser would be really choose your ship carefully. Make sure that it's the right culture fit for you, just like a job would be a fit, right? A ship can be a fit too. And I would say, for example, if you're sailing with Norwegian, get involved, get to know the solo cruising host, get out there, meet new people, have some fun if that's what you're into. If that's not what you're into, there's always the alternative of kind of just chilling out and doing nothing for the week too. Mandy said, what cruise line have you not gone on yet but you wanna go on sometime in the future? I am really intrigued, Mandy, by um, expedition style and smaller cruise ships. Some examples would be like Uncruise to Alaska, American Queen Steamboat Company to the Pacific Northwest. Some ships like that that offer those expedition experiences are very intriguing to me. Um, I would like to also get back on Holland America because it's been many years and I feel like I'd like to get reacquainted with Holland America. All right, Jess Squara says, anyone have any must-see ports in the Mediterranean? Thinking of either Allure or Explorer for August next year on Celebrity Constellation. You know what, Jess? 
I gotta tell you, I don't. I think you just can't lose with the Mediterranean. Do whatever looks good to you this year, and then do the other side of the Mediterranean next year. So maybe do Western for the first um, for your first journey over there, and next time do the Eastern. There's so many different options. You could even do the Northern um, Northern Europe area. That's not the Med, but you know something that's an option. We really liked the Western, but I think we're looking forward to the Eastern as well. Clemson said, other than washers and dryers, what other items are in the facilities on most princess ships? Uh, ironing boards, water to spray your clothing with, and dispensers that include detergent and softeners. You're going to love Star Princess, Clemson. Christine Levesque said, going to be planning, planning a cruise to Europe. Is it better to do a transatlantic or fly to Europe and do a cruise from there? Personally, my personal opinion, Christine, and again, I'm a port day girl. I'm not a sea day girl. So I vote fly over, do a little pre-cruise land travel around whatever city you're in, and then jump on the ship. I think a transatlantic sounds good, but it's not the top of my bucket list because I get easily bored. So that's just my opinion. Cindy Kelly says, does anyone know where I can purchase the magnets with lights? Thanks. I don't know about the lights, Cindy Kelly. Elaborate on that. DM me on Facebook. I'll try to help you. The lights? Magnets with lights? Oh! Oh! Okay, if you're talking about the light that we featured on our cruise gear channel, go to Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV. Click on the folder that says new for 2019 and the motion sensor light is in there and maybe that's the one. Yeah, it does have a magnet. Sierra Dickerson said, things to do in Belize if you're not interested in diving, zip lining, or snorkeling. Sierra, do the ruins or go um, tubing. Katie Adams said, we went on our first cruise to Alaska in June. What destination would you suggest for our second cruise? Katie, try the Caribbean. Just totally different experience, but go for it. Ooh, I missed a super chat. How, how did that happen? I missed a few. Brooke Murray I'm sorry, Brooke, that you had a bad day at work. You know that I'm thinking about you, and I'm so happy that you're here tonight. Thank you for the super chat, my West Coast friend. And the Very Lazy Travelers. Oh, the Very Lazy Travelers want a hint for tomorrow's pod. I would be happy to give them a hint. In fact, I could just tell them, right, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? Do you see this face? What does this face mean? I forgot what the topic was. What are we doing on the podcast tomorrow? See, guys, we're too busy. This is crazy. I'm busy right now. Um, ah, money-saving, no, hidden cruise costs that nobody's talking about. You're going to like this one, the Very Lazy Travelers. It's fun. It's really fun. I know there's another super chat up here, and I, um, I know it's from, oh, it's Stephanie Abbott. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie, did you change your profile picture? Smoking, girl. You're looking smoking. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so Katie Adams, Adams or Katie said we went, oh no, I already got that. Oh, I already got that, okay. Shorty, Shorty, where you been? Shorty12341 said, how long do you have to transfer your cruise to a travel agent? I'm curious if we get better perks for your Amsterdam cruise. Uh, do we have any travel agents in the house? What is that time frame, guys, on when you can transfer? Is it 30 or 60 or 90 days? Um, I know that there is a particular period of time for each cruise line. We'll try to get you an answer. If we can't, just message me and I'll ask my travel agent for you. Quality Child Care so, said, going to Barcelona in July, any recommendations for excursions or restaurants? Um, quality Child Care, I don't know about restaurants. I'd have to research that a little bit more, but ask a local when you get there and they'll give you really good tips. Excursions, well, we did a great segue tour. Um, I can't remember if it was Barcelona Segway or something like that. You can just, just Google Barcelona Segway tours. That was so fun. Such a good way. Oh, Sheldon, I already let the cat out of the bag. Somebody else asked about the pod too. So yeah, it's the hidden cost of cruising that nobody's talking about. So we kind of went into like all those little, like those little costs that, that we really don't hear very much about. Like we talk about the casino costing you more and the spa and gratuities. But what about the little things that eat into your bank account that we just never talk about? So that's what we did on the pod. 
Bill Bayungo, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate you. Okay, let's see. Larry Forgette, 20 year Navy vet, loves sailing. What is the best cruise line for Mediterranean cruising? Larry, the best cruise line for Mediterranean cruise line, cruising is whatever cruise line you normally like. So I would say that if you can afford to do the MSC Yacht Club, that's a really special experience. That's what we did in the Mediterranean. But you can also think about what you like to do in North America, if that's where you normally cruise. Think about that and then seek out that cruise line over in the Med or Europe and, and do that. But um, there's a lot of options. I mean, pretty much every major cruise line is over there. So you have a lot of choices. Yes, Sherry, I'm glad I bought the Bon Voyage luggage too. I'll show it to you. Okay, guys. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go over there and follow Cruise tips TV because I was telling everybody that I saw this bag at TJ Maxx and I didn't buy it Saturday and then I told everybody about it and they're like Ugh, what are you doing you idiot go back and get it so what do we do we drove 32 miles back to TJ Maxx on Sunday and mama got a $50 Bon Voyage suitcase that I don't need at all right Mr. Chris tips TV excellent work you're happy for me buying frivolous stuff that I don't need? No, he was proud of me, but I don't need more suitcases. I'm already so excited about my white Go Penguin <laughs> luggage that I've nicked, nicknamed Marshmallow. So what am I thinking? Like, why would I buy more, more carry-on bags? You notice I never buy big suitcases anymore, guys? We are like converted to carry-on people. Okay, Central Illinois Housing Network. Hi, Nick, says, Guy's Burgers on Conquest is the place for lunch. There's your Carnival Conquest tip. Thank you. Misty Gray said, I went on your Amazon store and ordered some things for my cruise next year in September. Good job, Misty. We hope it's an easy place for you to shop, and thank you for supporting our channel by shopping there. That's absolutely what you're doing. D. Lute said, hey, Sherry. How are your eye allergies doing? Hope the Aquaphor helped. Oh, D. we need to talk. Um, I'm going to try to make this really quick, guys, because this is not the makeup, and Sherry's face issues channel, but D, um, I think it's my Latisse. I bought Latisse to try to lengthen my lashes and I have chronic eye watering and some sagginess. So yeah, guess who stopped using Latisse two days ago? I think my problem is going away. I think it was that darned lash stuff. So we're gonna be using the, the strips and we're not gonna be using the Latisse anymore. Do you guys think I should do an episode on that? on cruise gear called Why I Stopped Using Latisse. Do you feel like there's a bunch of like YouTube videos out there that's like, why I don't do this? I don't know if that's me, but I feel like I need to share my story. So anyway, sorry guys, let's get back to cruise questions or people are gonna start getting really mad at me. <laughs> Matt, yes, you do know about all things, buying things you don't need before the cruise. So this Matt, this podcast that we did tomorrow was totally because of a conversation that my husband and I had after we did the podcast with you, we were like, Matt and I were joking, you know, about the fact that you could totally stimulate the economy if you just gave everyone a free cruise. And my husband's like, that's a factor. Like, what about all these other things we spend money on? So that, my friend, was our inspiration. Nice work. Hi, Dave Savard. Happy Tuesday to you too, my friend. Okay, so yeah, you guys want the Latisse vlog. Okay, I'll work on that. I'm going to do that. Um, oh, Canada says, how can we listen to the podcast? Mr. Cruz of TV, can you put a link in there? <laughs> do you want me to do it for you? I can do it. I'm speedy fingers over here. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I think it's actually on our website, huh? It's on our website. Working on that for you, my friend. There it is. I've got it. Okay, here's, here is the link to listen to the podcast. Now, you can listen to the podcast anywhere you listen to podcasts. I'm directing you to our website just so you have a home base. But if you're on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher, Spotify, all the places, just search Cruise Tips TV Unplugged. Okay. Um, Van Vangel Kelly said, how much cash should I bring on a seven-day Caribbean? Vangel Kelly, it depends on how many credit cards you're going to be using. If you're going to be using, I'm sorry, I didn't mean how many credit cards, how much you plan to use your credit card. We use a credit card quite a bit when we cruise. We're pretty comfortable with that, but I usually take about 400 bucks with me. Totally depends on if you're going to be buying your excursions on the ship or if you need cash for your excursions. So you kind of have to think about that. Take more than you think you'll need. 
Margaret Rich said, cruising later this month, what is one thing that's a must do on Carnival? Guy's Burgers, Margaret Rich, Guy's Burgers. Whatever you want on that burger, you make it your own, but you gotta try one. Popular Kim, going on a cruise August 30th, what should you do on boarding day on Norwegian Pearl? Popular Kim, I would recommend getting there early, walking around the ship, exploring the ship, Watch some of our Embarkation Day videos too. We have a lot of Embarkation Day do's and don'ts videos or just straight up Embarkation Day videos where you can get an idea for what to expect. But explore, go get a cocktail or a mocktail, check out your stateroom, have some fun, pack your sunglasses, pack your swimsuit, and have a great time. Okay, everybody's answering that question that we had earlier about when you can transfer a booking to your travel agent and it is 60 days. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Chan WMS, thank you, J Jackie, so many helpful people, thank you. Um, Sage and Moon, Royal Cruise, May 2020, Hawaii, Vancouver, best tips for excursions on the island, yes. I have an excursion provider that I keep recommending. I heard about this on a podcast, go to robertshawaii.com, check out your excursions there. Um, I've heard nothing but good things. Brooke, did you give us another super chat? You did not have to do that, my dear. But thank you so much. That is so, you're so cute, Brooke. Yes, we will feed our child. So we're having chili bowls this week, guys, for our dinner. Um, on Sunday, I made an Instant Pot full of really healthy turkey chili with all kinds of beautiful beans in it and stuff. And we're making chili bowls. So we're taking brown rice, we're putting our chili in there, and then we've chopped like five kinds of vegetables and we've got them in little extra dishes. So it's like lots of veggies on our chili. So we've got like pasilla chilies, radishes, um, avocado, which I know isn't really a vegetable, but you gotta have a little avocado on your chili, red cabbage, cilantro. So we're trying to infuse the veggies into dinner. So yeah, chili bowls, that's what we're doing. Miss Brooke, thank you another for the other super chat. Okay, Kayla Lowry says, are the kids centers open during dining hours? So Kayla, you know, Matt at Royal Caribbean Blog and I were just talking about this, is that some cruise lines close for the dinner hours, and it's kind of frustrating because you have to, like, pick up your kids during meal hours and then drop them back off, and your kids are like, get away, Mom and Dad. I just want to chill with my friends. It's not the parents. It's the kids that... <laughs> And they don't want to be picked up, right? So usually um, they do close for, at sometimes. Sometimes though they have dinner nights, but again, this depends on the cruise line. It varies. So yeah. Um, David, no, I would never skip mandatory tips. In fact, we tip extra. Michael Arnold said, "Are the following ports dock or tender ports for Royal Caribbean Cozumel?" Okay, Cozumel is a dock. Grand Cayman is a tender. Falmouth is a um, Falmouth is a dock, and I believe Labadee is also a dock, right? Matt, isn't Labadee dock? Yeah. Um, Eleanor said, "Is there a way to find out exactly when the key will drop for your cruise?" Ooh, Eleanor, I'm not sure about when exactly it will drop for your cruise, but I have to tell you, Eleanor, I'm hearing more and more, depending on what ship you're on, that it just may not be worth it. So I would say use caution when you book the key. Um, it's expensive, really, but, you know, really do your research. What's that? It's okay, we got this. Okay. All right, so Tropical Tree said, you're sailing on Carnival Sunrise tomorrow. You're packing as you watch the stream. Any tips for Carnival Sunrise and the Manhattan Cruise Terminal? Should you bring your iPad aboard or is an iPhone in a personally Tropical Tree? I would just bring your iPhone. That's what I think I would do. Um, yeah. That's probably good enough, unless you need to work, in which case I think a laptop would actually be easier. Um, oh, uh, Brian Medina said, what are the benefits of having a TSA pre-check card? Brian Medina, for TSA pre-check, we got global entry, but for TSA pre-check, you get expedited security check-in process on domestic flights. You might want to go global entry, though, in case you're going to be traveling international, because then you can also get TSA pre-check when you have global entry, but then you get expedited security coming back into the country from outside the United States with global entry and TSA pre-check. Mandy, yeah, we have lots of cruises and talks for 2020. Um, so premature, but there's a lot of different things that we're considering. We will keep you posted. Okay, D. Lute said, MSC Maravilla Yacht Club, are all alcoholic drinks available without no additional cost besides, not all of them, D, there are a few ultra premiums that are not. 
but for us, I couldn't even imagine what those would be. Maybe ultra premium champagne and wine and things like that. Okay. All right, guys, now's a good time that if I have missed your question, I want you to retype it now. Um, that way we can, um, we can make sure we don't neglect you. John, Jamelli, thank you so much. We love you too, and we really appreciate your support. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Mr. Cruz Sips TV, how are we doing? Oh, I got Tropical Tree at the top already. If you could delete that, I'll look at Renee's. Renee Rodriguez says, hello, when will more Carnival Cruises release soon? You know, they're always, Renee, they're always on a rotation, so it depends. Um, it, you know, they're coming out all the time. So I would probably, if you're looking at like things that are 18 months out, probably gonna start seeing things soon here, like end of August, between August and November. Ooh, Canada said, recommendations in Greece. Well, we haven't traveled to Greece yet. Once we go, we'll let you know, but we're, tr we're probably gonna target the smaller islands, hopefully less touristy places when we go. And another thing for Greece is I would recommend that you do not go during the peak summer months. For us, we're gonna be looking at like, if we do Greece, we're doing like September, October. I wanna wait until tourist season is up. I think that's my best um, advice. Who said, do you recommend overnight in Bermuda? Yeah, Nicole, if you can do an overnight in Bermuda, absolutely, that's on our bucket list, do it. Oh, David Savard said, I know it's early, but any thoughts of Vlogtober this year? So Dave, here's the thing. I was just talking about this with our friend and our wonderful Facebook admin, Natasha, because if we do go on a cruise soon, um, it'll probably be in September and we may have another one in October. So Dave, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it all but we want to, any unique ideas, David, for like topics or things to make Vlogtober unique that you would like to see that could be doable for us, um, I would love to hear. Janice Billy said, what is a super chat? Super chat, Janice, is a way of contributing to our channel. Always appreciated, but never expected or never required. Um, but there's a little button in there that says super chat. It's like a little dollar sign down at the bottom that you can click on. But again, we just appreciate you being here. Abby Muhammad said, do you think walkie-talkies are a good idea on the ship? I don't anymore. I just don't recommend them. There's too many people who say that they just thought they were a waste of space, that they couldn't really get good reception, and they just bug other people. They just bug other passengers. I would say no. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so Jill Hahn said, what's your favorite thing to do on Harmony of the Seas going in 2021? Oh my goodness, Jill, you could be on Harmony for a month and never hit all the fun things. So let's see what our, um, what our Royal Caribbean experts have to say about that in the chat. Amy Obenhouse said, missed you guys, back and ready to cruise again. Amy, thank you, we've missed you too. So glad that you're here. Thank you for the super chat. Okay. Ooh, Leo Tool said, doing the Mexican Riviera in October. Would love to know where you get all your great swimsuit cover-ups. They're so cute. Lee, I'm a bargain shopper. I get them at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross, but go now because that stuff is, they're selling out because it's like the stores think it's fall. Target still has them. Try Target. Macy's has a few and they're on clearance. So hit them now because they're almost gone. Um, Brian Medina, do you really need a passport to cruise? You don't if you're going on what's called like a closed loop cruise where you're not leaving the United States or you are leaving the United States but you're starting in a port, a United States port and ending in a United States port. So it's complicated. Personally, we recommend it though, honestly, because if you were to get stuck in one of those countries without a passport, it could be a big pain to get back into the country. Nurse for Cure B, thank you very much for the super chat. We appreciate you. Um, yeah. Okay. Nicole, have I ever sailed out of New York City? I haven't, but it's, I've heard it's absolutely spectacular. No matter what the weather, my tip is for you to get out on deck during sail away. Do not miss going under the beautiful bridge and experiencing those beautiful sights. I'm going to try to get some of the um, questions in the bottom here. Yes, Jim. Um, Princess does have blended coffees like Frappuccinos on board. You are good to go, my friend. Um, Scott, do not feel bad about being late. We see you and we're glad you're here. Um, Desiree, does Royal do anything extra special on Christmas Day, specifically Symphony of the Seas? I haven't been on a Royal Caribbean cruise for Christmas, um, Desiree, but yes, there will be a ton of special things on Christmas and the week leading up to it. So highly recommend holiday cruises if that's something that interests you. Um, okay, Wendy says, what is the best way to book a girls cruise to Bermuda 2020? 
for best discounts, which lines and ships. My suggestion to you, Wendy, is to use a travel agent and to book early. That's how you're going to get your best discounts. There's probably a lot of comparable prices for those cruises and you're not gonna have a huge amount of choices. So just start looking at them, pick the cruise line you like and use a travel agent. All right, okay, so. Yi Chang has a question about the Royal Princess and the Medallion class cruising, which I'm really excited to answer for you. So Yi Chang said, cruising Alaska on Royal Princess in two weeks, I'm so excited. I'm confused with the Medallion though. The Get Ready asked, asked me to buy accessories to the Medallion. Do they no longer give you wristbands? Okay, Yi Chang, here's how it works with the Princess Medallion. When you get your Medallion in the mail or at the port, you're going to get a free lanyard for it. Sorry, I just banged my ring on the desk there. You're gonna get a complimentary lanyard, all of the accessories though, wristbands, the bracelets, the necklaces and the clips, all cost extra money. So you will get the lanyard though, you will have something cool to house it in, it will go around your neck. Other stuff is going to be for an upcharge. Excellent question, have an amazing time on Royal Princess. I'm so jelly, Yi Chang. Purple Skies, do I recommend Canaletto or Pinnacle Grill on Holland America? both, but if I had to choose, I would say Pinnacle Grill because I'm a steak girl. All right. Whew. Taking a deep breath, guys, and taking a little drink here. <laughs> we have a lot of questions. This is a good time to remind all of you that if I do not get to your questions, follow Cruise Tips TV Facebook page, direct message me there. I will help you privately. We are at your service. We always miss questions here, but we don't want to upset you. We want to help you. So that's how you get your question answered if we don't cover it. Dana Yeager, Baltic Sea on Norwegian getaway in October. Any tips? Baltic. Oh, yes. I have so many tips for you. Um, I'm trying to think of where to start because it's a tough thing. One thing I'm going to tell you if you're going to St. Petersburg, Russia, Dana, is that you, the cruise line may lead you to believe that you can only book your tours through the cruise line because of the visa requirement, that is not true. If you are looking to book some tours in St. Petersburg, consider SPB tours. Over there, they have all kinds of Baltic excursions and they can bundle your Baltic excursions. That'd be my best tip for you. Trevor James, you're going on the 24 day cruise from Long Beach to Singapore on Carnival Splendor. So is my dad, Trevor. Any tips on what to do for 18 sea days? My friend, I'm not a sea day girl, so that would be hard for me. Um, thank you for this super chat, by the way. Trevor, I just looked down and noticed that. I'm sorry, I didn't say that before. I, I tend to get pretty bored, so for me, I would buy the internet package, straight up, just being honest. Pack some card games, pack some board games, learn to relax, spend some time by the pool, enjoy the ship, get to know your fellow travelers, enjoy the steakhouse. Those would be my tips. Paul Chung said, I'm going to Pacific Coast Cruise on Holland American in September. What should I expect? September is so beautiful, Paul, um, for a Pacific Coastal. There's a reason why the cruise lines do September and October and March and April Pacific Coastal. To be quite honest with you, it's the most beautiful weather in California and Oregon. You're going to love it. Pack a jacket, though, a light jacket in case it gets cool at night. But you're going to just have so much fun. I'm jealous. Okay. Um... Pray trust, what's the one thing you should not miss on Royal Princess in September? Enjoy the medallion class experience. You're gonna absolutely love it, it's so cool. But I would say go for one or two of the specialty dining experiences and if you're not traveling with kids, try a half day in the Serenity. That's what I would do. And maybe a spa treatment or just some time in the thermal suite. Fatima McCoy said, hi, oh wait, Oh, hi, hi, okay. So DM Bulldog, hey Sherry, what cruise line do you recommend for Alaska? I think Princess and Holland America are two premier lines for Alaska, but there's certainly other competition up there right now. You could definitely consider Norwegian or Royal Caribbean if those are your cruise lines of choice. Um, but you know, Princess and Holland America, they do a lot. Um, someone said, please do an updated solo cruising video. I will take that into consideration. We've done some, some stuff on that before, but I, I appreciate that and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I got Desiree's already, honey. Um, Stephen Ames said, how busy does Miami port get when there are more than three ships in? Not at all. Stephen, because Miami is so spread out, all the different ports 
are, they're always busy. So Miami is just known to be one of the busiest ports in North America. It generally absorbs passengers very well. Don't worry too much. Um, oh, how funny. Just Me Taxi said, how many costumes would you suggest for an Oct October Carnival cruise seven days? I would say just the one for Halloween. I think you'll be okay. If you're talking about like theme nights, like 80s night and things like that, just a few like accessories, but yeah. But maybe, I mean, maybe they're going on Halloween though and they want an actual costume. Yeah. So, Cynthia said, first time, what to do with a winter coat when cruising in February? Ah, yes. Flying from Pennsylvania to Miami, sailing on Davina to Puerto Rico. Okay, so I hate to say this, Cynthia, but the best thing you can do is wear that sucker on the flight because it's going to be bulky. And then once you get, take a compression bag. So take a Ziploc type compression bag. And then if you want to just roll it up to take it back home with you, if you don't think you're going to need it, and then pop it in your backpack, do that, but wear it. Um, yes, Patrice, gratuities are added to each individual drink at the bar on Carnival Cruise Line unless you bought the drink package and then it's charged to you beforehand. Julianne Thompson said, Sherry, what is the best cruise line in your opinion when traveling with Junior? Also the best cruise line for the, for the Caribbean. Junior is not a traditional kid in that sense. He's getting excited to go on Royal Caribbean and to go on some of the ships where there's more stuff to do for kids. But he's had the best time he's ever had in his, of his whole entire life on a princess ship to Asia. He made friends from all over the world, like lifetime friends on that 12-night cruise. So he's a really flexible traveler. He also really loved Norwegian Bliss, but he's getting pretty excited to try Royal Caribbean. Um, as far as Caribbean cruises, it's really just a matter of preference. There's just so many options. Jim Ring, I think I already got the Frappuccino question. Yes, got Scott already. Ha <laughs> ha, Scott, what are you wearing tonight? You're so funny. I'm wearing TJ Maxx, Scott, you know? I mean, no, this is free people actually, but it's discounted deeply, free people. All right, so Shelby said, best cruise line, more geared towards adults. Yes, Shelby Shaw, I can help you. Princess, um, Holland America, and Celebrity, definitely more adult oriented. If you wanna go more, um, the higher end types of cruises, you've got Viking River and you have the premium cruise lines as well, which is a totally different topic for mass market though, Princess Holland America, Celebrity. Um, and any of the mass market cruise lines when school is not in, was, is in session. So if the kids are back to school, all those cruise lines are going to be more adult than they were when it was summer or spring break. Marie Singh said, hello, I'm cruising with my family, Royal Caribbean in 2020. It's a Western Europe cruise. Any tips for excursions? Yes, oh my gosh, there's so many. Marie, go and watch our vlogs on um, the Western Med that we did last year, but in, if you're going to Marseille, try to do an excursion for the day to Aix-en-Provence. In Barcelona, I have to say, we really loved taking a Gaudi Segway tour. That was a ton of fun. There's just so much to do. And in Malta, if, you're, if you happen to get Lucky enough to visit Malta, we did the Rolling Geeks golf cart tour. All of them are just so good, so good. Um, Fallen, I'll keep you posted on an unboxing over there. I have stuff building up. I've got to get to that. Thank you very much for reminding me that we need to do that. Yi Chang, thank you for the super chat, and I am happy that I am responsible for your new cruise addiction. That is our pleasure. That is what we are here to do is get you addicted to cruises. Okay. Tropical Tree said, tip for Carnival, many ships have secret complimentary restaurants, which very few guests go to. Glory and Sunshine do go do your research. What, what are they called, Tropical Tree? Let us know. Okay, I got Fallen as well. Wow, it's been busy tonight, huh? Yes, Darlene, Ruby Princess for Alaska is excellent, so good. Um, are you going this year or next? Because if you're going next year, you're going to be on a medallion class cruise. Ruby, Princess is getting the medallion upgrade. When is that happening? I wanna say it's January of 2020, so that's exciting. Such good stuff. We are really excited. Can you tell we're excited to go on a medallion class cruise, guys? Like, we're really itching to do that. Okay, let's see here. ID, I've never been to Casablanca. I don't know about that one. Um, but I saw another question that came in that I wanted to get to. I feel, I feel like it disappeared. I, Donna, where did your question go? It went away. 
She retracted her question. Okay. Um, Jennifer, we, top cruise line for the Mediterranean is your favorite cruise line to the Mediterranean. I have to say we really loved the MSC Yacht Club because it's an affordable but very luxurious experience. Um, how fun that you're going to Casablanca, D. I am so jealous. That is so cool. Oh, Donna, what is the weather like in the Mexican Riviera in November? Donna, it's getting cooler. It's not as cold as December, though. So here's the thing with the Mexican Riviera. Um, is that those first few days when you're on the California coast will be quite cool. Um, 60s, 50s, you can get into the 40s in December, but not super cold. But that breeze can make it quite cool. But then the three days that you're in Mexico, they'll be very warm. You'll be wearing resort wear. Okay. Eleanor, how often do excursions go on sale on Royal? Often, but booking them early is a good strategy. You need to listen to Matt over at Royal Caribbean blog for lots and lots of information on that. Okay, so someone here in the live chat is asking, what is a medallion cruise? Mary Ellen, I would like to tell you a little bit about, about it. So Princess Cruises now offers what's called medallion class cruises, and it features this little thing called a um, called the ocean medallion. The ocean medallion is about the size of a quarter and you can wear it in a number of different ways. You can wear it as a clip, you can wear it as a necklace, but it basically replaces your stateroom card. It opens your doors and it opens up this whole world of different possibilities. It allows you to be tracked by the people you're cruising with using an app. It allows you to do so much cool stuff, but one of the best things about it is that it comes with medallion net technology, which we're hearing is some of the fastest internet at sea. So you've got a ton of different options. The med little medallion also helps you to get curbside onto the ship really, really fast. What you do is you pre-register your little medallion and it makes check-in a total breeze when you're sailing with Princess. Um, and you can then download the app that Princess has, and you can order drinks and snacks all over the ship with their Ocean Now app. And then Ocean Compass is the, the navigation thing that helps you to find your cruise mates all over the ship. So if my husband had his medallion, his Ocean Medallion on him, I could open up the Ocean Compass app and find out where he is, which is great for your children if you're you know cruising with kids, it's super cool. You can also play games on it. You can also do some gambling on it. Um, there's just a ton of things to do. You also pay for things with it, so it replaces your cruise card. It's just the coolest technology, and we got a little taste of it when we interviewed the um, hotel general manager on the Caribbean Princess last year. That ship was just being outfitted with the medallion, the ocean medallion technology, the medallion net technology, and now it's really, it's really being implemented across the fleet slowly. Um, right now, it's on Caribbean, Crown, Regal, and Royal. It's coming soon to Sky, Ruby, Grand, Enchanted, Emerald, Coral, and Island. So pretty cool stuff. Okay, Pray Trust, we don't have any reason to believe that Royal Caribbean is returning to the West Coast at this point, but hopefully they will at some point. Um, Sarah said, any tips on the Mexican Riviera, Norwegian in December? Tons of tips for you, Sarah. Start with watching all of our vlogs. Just search Mexican Riviera on our channel or Puerto Vallarta or Cabo and you'll get tons of tips there. We have so many. Um, I've never been shorty to the Arctic Circle, but I hope you get to see the Northern Lights too. Uh, Scott Hatley said, taking Panorama December 14th out of Long Beach. Um, you want to know about weather and choice places for excursions? Yes, Scott, there's so many good things. So weather in December, in, on your days in California, that is the absolute coolest time of the year in California. Generally speaking, it's quite sunny, but it can be very cold and breezy, so a jacket would be good, or at least a heavy sweatshirt, something like that. Some of our excursion favorites, there's so many. In Puerto Vallarta, we recommend getting a day pass at the Now Amber Resort. We also loved zip lining at Los Veranos. If you prefer to book with a ship in Puerto Vallarta, try Las Caletas, that's a wonderful day. In Cabo, we usually just take a water taxi out to Madano Beach for the day and stay there. So you've got lots of choices. Boy, we have been going for a long time, haven't we guys? How are we doing on answering questions? Nicole, how do you convince one of your brothers that he likes cruising? You can't do it until you take him on a cruise. So I would say just try to get him on that first cruise and maybe you'll win him over. Um, you know, I know that that's just a common thing. You just got to do your best. Yeah, Mandy, medallion class is pretty cool stuff. Really excited. 
Um, no, June, it is not customary to tip the live music performers at public places on most ships. They don't have like a hat out or anything like most cruise lines, so I think you're going to be okay. Um, Dexon, I'm not sure exactly what the dress up nights are on Seaside, but go ahead and just plug that into the forums over at cruiseline.com, the message boards, and someone over there can definitely help you with that. All right, guys, we are going to wrap up tonight. It is dinner time for our family. As always, I will remind you that if I've missed your question, just pop over to Facebook, follow our page, Cruise Tips TV. It has my face on it. It is not the one with the ship. There is an imposter page out there. It is not us. It's my face. Follow us there. Send me a direct message. I will be happy to help you. Um, special thanks to those of you who hung around and answered questions tonight. We love the help, guys, because even though we have been on 32 cruises, we have not been on every ship. We do not know everything, and we need your help. So thank you so very much. Joe, thank you for the super chat. Are you home from your cruise? Joe Mock gave us a super chat. Joe, we really loved your video. Um, that was really sweet. Thank you for sharing that on the students and coaches page. Um, theme nights for Princess Vernon. I would definitely plug them in on the message boards over on cruiseline.com and see what people who have sailed with Princess recently are saying about when they are. I don't think there's too many theme nights on Princess, but we have to check it out. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all for your contribution. We have a video coming out on Thursday, a regular video, not a live stream, and we'll probably see you live within the next two weeks or so. Thanks for being here tonight. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Good night. Cruiser of the week. <laughs>